welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. Before I get started with today's Amp Test Tuesday, I want to straighten a little something out about the last contest I had. Isn't that one basically cheated? He cheated the system. He knows more about computers than I do, and he was able to backdoor his way in and find all the little contests, little annotations that I put up. And uh, well, I guess since I didn't put in the disclaimer, no cheating allowed, he went ahead and did it and he wins the prize. The thing that bothers me about this whole situation is I get this stuff, they send it in and they want it tested, I test it, it's mine to keep. Well, instead of keeping it, I give it away to the people and the right people did not win it and that's the problem. The thing if you cheat and get caught, but it's another thing when you lie about it, say they had a team of people working all night long looking for those annotations when really it was just him running a script in the background and finding all the stuff he needed. He won within two minutes of me putting up the last annotation. So, well, like I said, I didn't say no cheating. So I guess that means it's okay to cheat and do other people wrong. All the people that did put in the time and effort to win the contest. And for those people that actually did, I really appreciate it. And I want to keep doing this, but I just can't do it. Not on YouTube anymore plan on giving away the other two lightning audio amps just like I said I would. The only difference is it's going to be on my website. The best way to do it is for everybody to guess the wattage because there's really no way you can guess the actual wattage that's going to come out of my machine and get it right. And There's no way to cheat that. So here we go. The guy that cheated his way in and won, you got it man. So I'm a man of my word and even though I didn't say no cheating, I'm still going to send this stuff out. It's going to go out today the good stuff. What I got here is a lightning audio 1500D 500 watt amp. Little tiny thing. This will give you an idea how small the amp actually is. There's a CD. So 500 watts in a very small housing. Lightning audio. Two twenty five amp fuses. Let's drag this thing over and see if it actually does its power. So, in the book, we're looking at five hundred times one at one ohm. Reflects five hundred and ten watts from the factory. I'll be the judge of that. As always, I'm using three excess power D fourteen hundred batteries, fourteen volts, and a fifteen amp excess power IntelliCharger. Just a little thing as well. Just enough to keep the batteries topped off in between runs. Not much of a power supply, 15 amp. Not really making any difference other than topping the batteries off. About winning this without letting any cheaters in? Well, this is how we're going to do it. Go to stevemeadesigns.com, my website. Go down to the amp section. Look for Amp Test Tuesday. You'll see the Lightning Audio 1500D in there. And from there, you'll see exactly what you got to do. By the time you're seeing this video on YouTube, though, it's gonna probably be too late. For the website, you'll see this coming a mile away because I do it all well, the somebody time. Somebody wins this contest and they win this amplifier. I'm also gonna to toss in a 12 inch lightning audio woofer right there, brand new in the box. Just like the one that's over here going to the cheater from last week's contest. Here we go with amplifier number two. The lightning audio L1500D, 500 watts RMS claimed in the book. Got four gauge wire for power. SMD RCAs. The gains are set right. And uh, let's see how it does.
saw the results with your own eyes. Those are the numbers. Just a couple watts short, no big deal. Basically, it's still a 500 watt amp. I mean, if it was like 50 or 100 watts short, it would be a big problem. A couple watts, basically, that's the difference between the way I test it and the way they test it. And not only that, but I'm on batteries that can be pulled down. If you're sitting on an alternator and it's constantly charging, I would say it'd probably be, it would make up that four watts, no problem. For a couple of watts, I would say that you're getting right around exactly 500 watts if you buy this amplifier. So, go ahead and pass this amp. This amp passed Amp Test Tuesday. You see in the end of this video, somebody had already guessed how much power it's putting out in all three categories, added up, like I said. And uh, to that person, congratulations on your loot and thank you for not cheating, even though there's no way you can do it. Another Amp Test Tuesday coming real soon. We're gonna do that Lightning Audio 4 channel. So, you know, just because you might miss this one don't mean you're going to miss the next one. Join the website and all that good stuff and, you know, you have a good chance of getting in. See you on the next Amp Test Tuesday.